Hi, it's Neil from neilcamera.com. Today I'm going to be talking about Nashville tuning. This is a question that I've been asked before and I think it'll just take a couple of minutes to explain it and to show you a real world use of Nashville tuning. Yeah, Nashville tuning is something I love when I'm playing strummy acoustic guitar to add a second guitar part because I don't need to learn anything new or accommodate uh, new chord shapes it's all the same tuning as standard guitar with the exception that some of the strings are tuned an octave higher than normal. So my regular guitar, if I just grab this one, is tuned as standard to E, A, D, G, B and E. So a G chord sounds like this and it's nice and full. The Nashville version of that tunes the bass E string an octave higher than normal. So against my original, this one's sitting a good deal higher and a little bit sharp too. The A string again is an octave higher. So instead of this on the standard guitar, I'm going to get this on the Nashville. The D again is tuning octave high. This is quite demanding. The G string, the third string, you can do all the G string jokes you like, also tuning octave high. And this one's sticking so it's not tuning easily. It'll jump in a minute. What is it doing there? There it is, jump. So that's sticking in the nut. Incidentally, here's a quick tip. If you do find that your strings are sticking in the nut when you're tuning, and this one is, put a little bit of graphite in there. So scrape a pencil, file a little bit of pencil in there, and that'll help. There we go, so we're in tune now. The B string is dead standard. And so is the toppy, the skinny E string. So there's a standard one. Here's the Nashville tune one. So my G, which sounded like this before, is now gonna sound totally other, like this. Very, very light, very airy, and of course, as I play, the notes arrive in a very different order than you'd originally expect. Now the best use for this is in adding a second guitar. So what I'm going to do is grab the standard guitar again. It's plugged into my NUX MG100, which I'll be doing a quick demo clip on at some point. And it's fed through, and I'll use the loop function on this. It's a very primitive looper, but what do you want for 70 odd quid? So I'll just put a few chords in there with a little bit of reverb on. It'll be just G, C and D probably. And then we'll add the Nashville and you'll see the, the added effect of that. So here you go, one, two, one, two, three, four. Now the loop was playing that for me. First time to grab the Nashville. I can't remember what it was I played. I can join in. Here we go. So you see, it's a very different airy sound. I don't have to learn any new chords. It's the C. So that's Nashville tuning, ever so easy. It sounds like a 12 string, but without the bass strings of a 12 string. It's standard tuning with a twist. Experiment with it, get yourself another guitar. You know it makes sense. And have fun. 
hit me up on Facebook, subscribe to the YouTube channel so I can get some more videos made. And if I can be of help to you, get in touch. It's info at neilcamido.com. Take care. You have a fabulous day.